All right, you're back with Master Beekeeper Jason Miller in the next video of this series talking about honey production, where honey comes from. And in this video, I want to show you supering, what we call first round supering more specifically. Let me uh, show you guys a super and what I'm talking about. So right here on the truck, I've, I've got this small truck loaded with honey supers. Uh, we often refer to these as shallows. The reason is you, can, you heard me refer earlier to these as deeps. This box is much shallower than a deep, and so we refer to these as shallows. It's got eight frames uh, for them to store the honey, and if we pull out a frame, you can see that they, it's gone through the machinery, which has um, extracted the honey previously. The bees will have a little bit of repair work to do here to uh, rebuild those cells so they can fill them again with honey, but that doesn't take them any time at all. They're very quick at that. Um, and uh, some of you might be wondering, why do we use shallows? Why not just have everything be deeps? Main reason is the weight. When these are full of honey, a shallow uh, will weigh 30, 40 pounds, and a deep can weigh upwards of 80, 90 pounds. So it's pretty heavy hauling those deeps around full of honey. Um, the machinery is set up to handle one or the other. And so for ease of us as employees, working with the full boxes, the machinery, and as well as what happens when you have those really heavy frames is they tend to break their ear off. The ear is this little piece of wood that, that the frame rests on. And in the deep, those frames are so heavy that as the truck goes down the road um, and the pallets get lifted and moved with forklifts, you tend to break off those gears more frequently and, and break up more equipment, which we don't want to do. So, so we use shallows for our honey supers. Um, now let's open up a hive and take a look at what it's going to need for, for supers. So this hive looks really good, strong, lots of white, fresh wax. It's bursting at the seams, needing some more room. And so as a, for first round supering here, I'm pretty optimistic, like all farmers. Going to have a great summer, going to make a lot of honey. Um, we're in early July right now, so there's still a lot of time to make, to make some honey here in the Dakotas. And so I'm going to put four supers on this particular beehive. Now, as I move around the colony, or move around the pallet, excuse me, let's take a look at some other ones. This one, as you can see, is missing all that white, big, nice frosting. Uh, it looks good as far as bees, good functioning colony, but not nearly as big. So probably a two super colony right here. This colony, I'd say, is sort of right in the middle. Um, not as strong as the, the three super there. Um, so I'm going to count this one as a three super. That one is a four super. And this one is two supers. And finally, this one is fairly weak. Probably just going to put one super on that and hope that they fill that up. Now, you might be wondering, why is there such variety here? It's one pallet. Why are each of these colonies so different? There's a lot of factors that can affect the strength of a colony. Um, one could be the vitality of that queen, how young she is, how vigorous she is. That's one of the main factors. Disease pressure inside the hive. Um, there are a number of different diseases that, that bees deal with and cope with. And so the amount of disease pressure will vary between hives, and, and that can affect it. How early the colony was made in the year will affect the amount of time they've had to build up and then the, the resulting strength. So you have a lot of variability um, in, in their honey production capabilities within a bee yard and even within the same pallet. So we'll have all different varying quantities of supers on this. As I mentioned, we'll do four on this first one. They're not real heavy when they're empty, but you're generally not picking up three or four of those when they're full of honey. They get heavy in a hurry. Big difference when we get to the uh, honey harvesting portion of this video series. So this hive would be complete with its supers. I'll put its cover on, put the rock on so the lawnmower doesn't find it, and, and we'll call that one done and let them start uh, making some honey. If you've got any questions, anything I didn't cover, please leave those in the comments below. And 
in our next video, we'll show you uh, once these boxes are full, we'll, we'll take a look at second round supering and uh, what we're going to do to give them some more space.